so we this is 69a we are at 69 you can see quite streets and i think it's around 8 or 9 am in the morning maybe i'm just gonna take a round and see the running path and all as of now as of now even we don't even have internet connection so i'm just recording this video to see otherwise the weather is pretty decent looks like it might rain but i'm not sure whether it will or not houses are pretty decent trees are oh my god the fresh air amazing i can actually feel the change in the air okay so let me start by talking the journey how it all started in 2016 i appeared for my first ielts exam so it's like i have appeared for the ielts exam for around four times so in 2019 only i was able to get the minimum required which is eight triple seven you need eight triple seven in order to gain the required number of score and in our case i was a prime applicant so on the basis of my masters and on my experience that helped my husband appeared for the two ielts exam so you can imagine that ielts is the most important exam that needs to be cleared if you want to actually get settled in Canada so in 2016 when I got low score I approached uh, the Sunrise International at sector 9 Chandigarh so what they all did was just took 50,000 rupees from us and just placed our file as it is into the pool but we never got a call so in short I wasted around 60 uh, 50k without any guidance proper without any you know proper way to you know get through the process so i appeared for the next exam in 2017 after taking the coaching so in the coaching again they only tell you to do the self practice only it's not like that they are holding your hands and telling you how it is to be done so it's only the self practice they teach you and again they also took around 15k for what few months months coaching i appeared again in 2018 so what happened is slowly and slowly i was getting better score slowly slowly but i was not able to get that uh, ideal score of 8777 okay so it took me the fourth attempt in 2019 when i actually did a self-study i referred the website of uh, this liz.com then for the writing part especially i read so many articles with the or the essays and the letters with eight plus band and nine band that is the most important thing if you want to score good marks in your writing exam you need to read more and more of the sample writings with eight or nine bands that will actually help you okay and then otherwise listening and uh, this other exam writing uh, the i forgot reading the score is pretty easy to score but i guess speaking for speaking you need again to practice with yourself only and you need to listen to the youtube nine band answers eight band answers and there's a specific bunch of questions that they ask so what it's like 50 or 70 questions which are being asked repetitively so you can just go through and prepare look yourself in the mirror and practice for that so what i'm saying is if you really really want to come here it all starts with IELTS exam nothing else gonna help you first try to get the 
good uh, score in IELTS and I am talking in uh, respect to the PR only as of now otherwise study visas are pretty easy to get mm, probably work visas as well but the PR thing is the most difficult one and where the people lag behind is the first step is the IELTS so if you really want to save some money rather than approaching some agents and all what you can do is prepare for the exams on your own see so after IELTS I'll explain what else to be done so if you need any particular guidance for the IELTS exam which I just mentioned the sites and everything you can refer that otherwise also I'll explain more gradually with the passage of time hmm. so that's all for today I'll catch you up tomorrow and definitely I'll keep on uploading the videos of which place to go or how to explore what place uh, you can do shopping and everything but gradually see you for the time being bye bye